Welcome. In today's video, we're going to be covering passwords and some common troubleshooting steps we can take to resolve password issues in Digital Century. You may remember we briefly reviewed this in our configuration video, but today we're going to go into a little bit more detail on taking care of passwords. Now, our first order of business when dealing with Digital Century and passwords is going to be to create a secondary admin user. This is done for two reasons. It is done in case the account is ever locked or if the password is forgotten. You can log in with your secondary admin user and reset or unlock the account. Now that's done here in DS Admin under User Administration. We want to click Add User. We'll give it a name. We'll give it a password. And then once we've done that, we'll select the administrative privileges. This will give this user access to the same administrative rights as a default admin account. With our secondary admin account now secured, we're going to go ahead and change the password on the default admin account. This is to prevent any accidental guessing of the password so no unapproved changes can be made to the system. Once we've changed that password, we're just going to go through a scenario where a user is unable to log in to DS Admin. The reason I'm doing this is to show DS does not give you an indication of incorrect password. It will simply not log in. So with now our changed default admin password, we'll go ahead and we'll put in the previous password, which for purposes here in the video is admin. Now you notice how it stays at the connecting to box. Now this shows you the name of the system. One of the key indicators that this is not the correct password is you will sit at the connection screen. Once it actually brings up DS Admin, you'll see that the system is completely blank. There's no information here. All we see under available systems is our loopback IP address which is 127.0.0.1 and the system name. That is a clear indication that the correct password was not used. So now that we've got our admin user configured, we're good to go. We're going to walk through how to reset a password. So now that our password has been changed and we did get an incorrect login, let's go ahead and log in as our new admin user. And then we're going to go and reset the password for the original or default admin user. You simply go back into user administration in DS Admin, click change password, and then type in the previous password. Again, the default password for Digital Century admin user is admin. Now with the password for admin reset, we're going to take a look in account management. If the agent or operator had input the incorrect password too many times, that would lock the account. Here, we can unlock the account, set a number of password attempts, set the password age, or not require any password changes at all. This will allow us to fix any issues that should arise with the admin user account. With the admin account now reset, we'll be able to successfully log in to DS Admin. You'll notice on the connecting to screen, it'll breeze by quickly, almost instantly, and then we'll be brought to our available systems. We're now able to normally administer the DS system. As always, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered. Thank you.